Today, it's all about pie. What kind of pie, you might ask? Well, it all started with a long lost family recipe. You see, for years, my grandma Vivian would rave about this Concord great pie that her grandmother, Charlotte Buzzard, would make. Charlotte lived with her husband, Reverend William Buzzard, just west of Buzzard Hill in New Paris, where they had their own fruit farm. And it was here that she grew the grapes for this famous pie. Now, my grandma was never able to find a recipe for this pie, and neither was I, until now. To my surprise, I was able to find it right here in our research library. I found it in this book, The 150th Anniversary of New Paris. Now, this wasn't the only book. This is just the companion cookbook to the actual 150th Anniversary New Paris book. And to my even bigger surprise, while flipping through that book, I found an actual photograph of Charlotte and her husband, William, outside of their cannery in New Paris. That's like hitting the genealogical jackpot. When I discovered this, I knew I had to share this story and this recipe with you today. So let's get started. Okay, so before I have a couple of my colleagues try this, I'm gonna try it myself. Mm. It's very rich. It has almost the same dryness as wine would have when you drink it, when you drink it, that dry aftertaste. Um, the taste itself doesn't taste like grapes. It's more like a mix between a really rich blueberry and a cherry pie. Somewhere in between there, but the crust is really good. I'm surprised it's not soggy on the bottom because I didn't blind bake it, but all in all, I think it's a success. So let's see what my coworkers have to say. Oh, awesome. That sounds awesome. Somehow I feel this is going to be better than the hardtack or the uh, the buckwheat cakes. <laughs> Come on. That's fantastic. Hmm. Oh, I can tell by just with the with my fork that it's got a good crust. So. That's good, having a good crust is important. Ooh, that's, that's good. This is a delicious looking pie. 
It has a beautiful lattice crust and shiny filling. I can't wait to taste it. Mmm. You can, there's a noticeable chew to the, to the fruit. Like, um, um, there's not as much tang, you know, as other types of fruit pies, because grapes are sweeter, so that's not that surprising. I'm usually not a grape person, like when it comes to jelly, I'm much more like a strawberry raspberry guy. But this pie filling, this grape, Concord grape is really good. I also like how you can taste the, you know, the skins of the grape in it. So I would say this is a pretty good pie. The crust is flaky. It has a nice combination of sweet and sour. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. If it were warm with ice cream, I would be in heaven. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna finish the rest of it in private, but um, yeah, you get the full endorsement from me. I'm glad I had a chance to sample this pie. Good job. Yeah, absolutely. So I made beer cakes and you've made wine pie. <laughs>